Hello and welcome to Pavli. So in this video, we will be discussing how you can execute MySQL custom queries inside Pavli Connect. So Pavli Connect has an integration with MySQL using which you can perform a lots and lots of actions and triggers for your MySQL database. But here guys, now this integration is updated to a next level using which you can actually execute or run some kind of custom queries for your MySQL database as well. So let's see this with an example. Here you can see that I have created an automation workflow inside Pavli Connect. And in this workflow, just for an example, I have selected the trigger application as Pavli Form Builder. And using this webhook URL, I have connected a Pavli Form Builder form which I have created with Pavli Connect and also I have captured the response. Now here guys, in my MySQL database, you can see that I have some details of the users like the first name, last name and email address of this user. And using this form submission, I'm basically asking the user some more details like date of birth, address, city and postal code. Now I want that whenever the user is going to enter their first name, last name, email and all the other details other some new data, we will be receiving that response, that data inside Public Connect. As you can see over here in this trigger response. Now I want that using the email address which the user is entering while submitting the form, this person should be searched in our MySQL database. So we already have the first name, last name and email in our MySQL database. Now here guys, as we receive this new form submission, using this email address of the user which we have received as a form response, we want to search for this user in our MySQL database. And we will see how you can run this custom queries, how you can execute the custom queries in our MySQL database. So what we are going to do is just an example. Basically, you can run any kind of custom queries in your MySQL database using the same process. So let's begin with it. So we have selected our trigger application and received the trigger response as well. Now to search for this data, we'll just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, we will search for MySQL. Just select it. After selecting MySQL, an action event from this drop down, you can see there are different action events over here like get rows, insert row, update row and delete row. And at last, there's an action event named as custom queries, using which you can execute some custom queries in your MySQL database. Just select this action event over here. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our MySQL database with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the username and password of our database. Then we also have to enter the host we have to enter the name of the database that which database from our MySQL account we want to connect with Pavli Connect. And also we want to enter, we have to enter the port of our MySQL database. So if you have created your MySQL account, you must be having all of these details over here. So you just have to enter these details in these fields and then just click on save to connect our MySQL account with Pavli Connect. Right now in this video, I will be just selecting my old existing connection which I have already made and click on save. But by entering these details, you can connect or you can make a new connection of your MySQL account with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the only thing it asks us is the SQL query. That what is that custom SQL query which we want to run using this automation. So here guys, we want to run a search query or a select query over here. So we just have to enter our custom query over here. So I'll enter the query as select from and after this here we are going to mention the name of our database. So here the name of this table in my MySQL database is named as new contacts. So I'll just enter the name of the table that in which table I want to perform this custom query new contact. After selecting the table, I want to enter the search value over here. So I'll enter the search value as where and here guys, we wanted to search for this contact, this existing contact in our MySQL table using this email address. So here guys, the column of email address is named as email over here. So I'll just enter email equals to. And then in single quotes, we have to mention the email address which we want to search. So we want to search for the email address which we have received from form submission. So whatever email address the user is going to enter while submitting the form, using that same email address, we want to search for the contact in our MySQL database, in this MySQL table. So here guys, what we have to do, we have to actually map this response of email address from this trigger window to this action step of MySQL. 
Now here guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Pabli Form Builder from Form Submission. So here just scroll down to these responses and select this response as email. After this, just close this single quote over here. Now here guys, this is the custom query which I want to run on my MySQL database. So we are running a select query on this table named as new contact and we are searching for an email which is equals to this, the same email which we will be receiving from our form submission. Now after this, after entering your query over here, just click on save and send test request and we will see this custom query will be run on our MySQL database. And after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And after running this query in our MySQL table, here you can see that we have received the details of the same row from our MySQL database. Here you can see the ID of this data. So here in our MySQL table, this was the email address which we have searched for, demo at the redpablitudes.com. This was the email which we have received from form submission. And using this query, we have searched for this. So here you can see that the ID of this row is one, ID is one over here. Then you can see the same first name and last name. So same data of the row over here. Then you can see the same email address. And here you can see that we have received the data or the response of other field as blank. So here in our table, we haven't added any data to these columns of date of birth, address line, and all of these columns. That's why you can see that we have received the blank details, blank values over here. So in this way guys, you can actually execute some custom queries of MySQL and you can basically execute these queries using the public Annex automation. While running these queries, executing these queries, you can actually map the data from previous step and on that basis, you can run the custom queries of MySQL in your automation workflow as well. And after running these queries, whatever data, whatever response we receive in return, you can basically use this data into the next step as well. So guys, this was the video on how you can run custom queries, MySQL custom queries in your public Annex automation and how you can execute them. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. And if you have any kind of feedbacks or reply or queries, you can always write us on the comment box below. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.